Good afternoon or morning. Sorry, I'm a bit confused time zone wise. Just back from the US, so I, it's either the middle of the night or the middle of the afternoon. I'm not too sure. Um, okay, so, so far this morning you've heard from a lot of country code people. Uh, I have nothing to do with country codes. I mean, I'm on the board of various ones, but I'm, I'm a dirty, filthy registrar. I like to make money. Um, I'm not interested in, ma in making the world a better place. I'm more interested in, in buying shiny objects and that kind of thing. So the Irish market's a bit weird for many reasons because we've ended up in a situation where we have what could be seen as two TLDs competing for the same market. Potentially. So the Irish CCTLD is .ie. It's been around for, I think, it's about 17 or 18 years. And now we have our own new TLD, .irish. So when I prepared these slides, this is, by the way, historic for me. I actually had the slides done in advance. Doesn't normally happen. Um, at the time that I did the slides, there were just about 1,500 registrations in .irish versus about 200,000 in .ie. Those numbers have changed a little bit, but not dramatically. So you've basically you've got the kind of David versus Goliath type scenario. So .ie, it's been around for, as I said, about 17 or so years. .irish has been around since um, earlier this year. So what's been happening? What, what's, what are the differences? What are the challenges? Oh, and by the way, who am I, in case you don't know? Um, ultimately, from our perspective, you look at businesses, small businesses, they want to get a domain, or do they? I'd actually argue they don't care about domain names. They want to get online. They want to get their business online. They want to, to get a website. They want to get email. They want to get various services. So how many domain names, are realistically, are they going to, to register? Probably only one or two. So for us, what we've been trying to do with .irish is to come up with ways of marketing it actively. Um, because the .irish TLD has one thing that the .ie TLD doesn't have. It's open. Any of you who want to, you can register a .irish TLD. Do you all drink Irish beer? Yep. Yes? There, see? Perfect. You're all Irish at heart. So this, and this is the key thing. Um, we're here in Stockholm. How, f how far do I have to walk to get to an Irish bar in Stockholm? Three minute walk, perfect. If we were in Sydney, how far would I have to walk? Five minutes, same in Paris, same in London. Irish as a kind of a brand globally is huge. How many of you know Irish people, excluding me? Most of the audience, by the way, the lighting in here is terrible. I'm so blind and it's brilliant. Um, so one of the, the thing, the thing with the .ie country code is it's super restricted. You have to basically, you know, go out there, you get a small animal, you uh, hurt the small animal a lot, you maybe kill the small animal, and then maybe after you have, have sacrificed uh, animals, uh, spent a ridiculous amount of time, sent in multiple emails, multiple faxes, given a blood sample, all that, then maybe, if you're lucky, and if it's a full moon, you might get a .ie domain. Maybe. Not guaranteed, huh? Whereas with .irish, it's open to the world. So the .irish market potential is huge. There are millions and millions of people around the globe who consider themselves to be Irish or have an affinity with Ireland. So we've been trying to market it using this kind of cute graphics like the kiss me, I'm Irish type thing. Trying to get the, expose the concept of .irish to a global market. Um, yes, my graphic artist loves to use that image. You know, exposing, exposing the, the people to the, the concept, this idea of an option. Thinking beyond .ie. But so far, obviously, it hasn't really worked. Or has it? I mean, there's, there's two ways to look at it. You can look at it in terms of OK, there's a very small number of domains registered, but there's lots of potential. Or you can look at it and say, well, oh my god, there should be way more domains registered so far. But we're going to see what happens, and there's some interesting things, hopefully, in the future. 
But again, going back to your small business, all they want is to get online. They want to get an online presence. They want to get their email. They want to get their website. They're used to things like the domains that have been out there for years and years. Getting them to look to other domain names is going to be a bit of an uphill struggle. I mean, just looking at the, the ones I have up there, these are the kind of list of TLDs that somebody could be offered when they go to our website or to the website of any of our competitors. .com, you see it everywhere in the Irish market and in, in the US market. .com is pretty, pretty much everywhere. In Ireland, .ie is, has got a heavy enough presence, even though in common with a lot of country codes, it's an awkward domain to register. It's still got a big market presence. .eu in Ireland isn't that popular. I mean, it, it's doing OK, but not very popular. .irish, say it's the new kid on the block. But we're, see, we're seeing people registering domains across you know, a variety of different TLDs, but in common to the speak, with the other speakers that say, yeah, sure. So far to date, the take-up hasn't exactly been um, gigantic. You know, you're, you're coming, if you look at it in some respects, it's almost tempting to, to, to say to people, look, here, just register this domain and go online. Because when, they, when a small business person who's not that technical goes to your website, it's like going into a Chinese restaurant. You've all got Chinese restaurants? Yeah? OK. How many items are on a, Chin a menu in a Chinese restaurant? Hundreds? OK. So what happens? Do you, do you, so here's the thing. You go into a Chinese restaurant. How many of you honestly choose something different each time? How many of you kind of go, OK, I'm comfortable with the black bean thing. I'm comfortable with the duck. I'll stick to the duck because I know that I like it. You stick to the duck. Of course you do. He works for CCTLD, see? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I have to behave. I'm, 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 well, I'm not, actually, I'm not a guest of the, the CCTLD. Damn it. If they'd paid for me to be here, I'd be politer. So the thing is this, is that, you know, you're looking at, you're going to look at it in terms of how the small business person is going to look at this. You know, it's confusing for them. They're, they're, look, they're, com they're coming along. They, you know, you're dealing with people who don't know the difference between, say, a browser bar they don't know that Google isn't the internet, and you're bombarding them with all these choices. I mean, from our perspective as a registrar, we've spent a lot of money on this, probably too much money. And I'm thinking to myself at this stage, well, OK, maybe it's time to back away a little. Let's go back to offering the black beans and the, and the duck, because I know they sell. From the, from the perspective of the small business, their problem is going to be, well, which domain name, which package of domain name and other services is the cheapest? Which is the most cost effective? So you take, say, Dot .irish, um, prior to them offering some discounts recently, we were selling them for 29 euro for a one year registration. We're selling a .com for about 10. So, that, so the, thing, the choice they have to make is between a .com and a .irish, three times the price. It's a big difference. You could say, if I work for .irish, which I don't, .irish is awesome, .irish is great, I have to get a .irish. But the reality is, your small business, they're looking at you know, getting a basic online service they're going to spend probably 50 euro a year, plus the domain, plus a couple of other things. So that price difference, that price thing is an important deciding factor. If you look at the new TLD figures of all the new TLDs that have been registered to date, and you exclude all the ones that have been given away for free, which TLD is doing well? Duck Club. What's the wholesale price on a Duck Club? Anybody? Come on, you work for GoDaddy, you know the answer to this. You've no idea, okay. Never mind, I'm not gonna say anything. It's, a, it's cheap, it's about the same price as a .com. So the retail is about the same as a .com. Whereas you look at the higher, more expensive ones, 
They're not selling in large numbers. So ultimately, pricing is, a, is an important thing. But you've got to remember that realistically, the big challenge for any of us out there trying to market new things is going to be the big bad incumbents, be that the incumbent CCTLD or VeriSign, because .com is still king. In pretty much every market, .com is king. For us in the Irish market, .ie, .com, they're the ones that dominate the market. Center will truck out some statistics. It doesn't matter. I can tell you because we're the, what, we, we're, what we see are those two and nothing else. Looking at other country codes, you can see you know, the numbers involved are, are pretty impressive. Like United Kingdom, the .uk CCTLD, it's massive. But, in the, it, that, but that market for .irish should be big. There are literally hundreds of thousands of potential registrants of .irish domains in the UK. So far, though, the take-up has been pretty slow. That's out of date. Sorry. The, uh, I, because I, this is what happens when I prepare slides in advance. The numbers go out of date. Uh, I think the number now of total new TLDs is about 10.2 mil, 10 million or thereabouts. And .xyz numbers are about, what the, about that, roughly. Maybe a bit higher, a bit lower. Um, of course, the real question is how many .xyz domain names were actually paid for? Not many. Um, looking at some other numbers, again, just showing you the dominance. Hun over 114 million .coms. Then you look down, .irish is like 1,500-odd. But if you, to, if you were to break out and look at all the other TLDs, you know, the numbers are kind of depressing. I mean, if you think of it, .org has more registrations than there are new TLDs. That's, that's kind of an amusing figure. Um, that's, that that graphic, graphic there is just like percentages of .irish by, by registrar. And it, it just shows you the same kind of thing that you've seen with some of the CCTLDs, where it's like two or three registrars dominate the entire thing. In our case, it's those evil Canadians who are in here somewhere in the room, two cows, then there's us, and then you've got Mesh, and then GoDaddy's in there as well. But for once, I'm proud to say we are beating GoDaddy. We are whooping GoDaddy's ass. Hi, Stefano. This, I, I don't get to say this normally. Excuse me? Thank you. Of course, now he'll get upset, and then that's it. Our market dominance will be gone. You know, GoDaddy flex their muscles and you know, put an entire registrar or a country out of business. And that's about it. I mean, I've kept this one pretty short and pretty sweet. Um, and I've probably, gone, I've probably actually done too short and too sweet, but never mind. The, the key thing is that is around the, the kind of the marketing around this is going to be what makes the difference. Um, we've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, um, but the, the scary thing is, is that in the case of .ie, my company spends zero on marketing. Zero. What percentage of the do, of .ie registrations do we have? About 40%. But we spend zero. And if you want to stalk me, there's how. And yes, I am one of the few people left on the planet who still uses a .tel domain name. I don't know why I'm thinking of deleting it, but every time I go to delete it, I feel kind of nostalgic. <laughs> because I'm thinking that one of these days, you know, we'll have like the special .tel owners or .tel holders club. It'll be me, Francesco, and... Oh, you don't anymore. Damn it. Okay. It'll just be me. I'll be like the, 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 the last holdout on, dot, on dot .tel. Uh, happy to take any questions, if anybody has any now, or if not, leave it to whatever. Well, no. Oh, come on. Somebody must have a question. Nothing. Okay. I mean, I know my presentation was terrible, but for God's sake, at least pretend. How much am I paying for the .tel? I personally pay my own company the standard price for that domain registration because nobody else will. 
Um, I don't actually know, to be honest. It's probably something like, I think renewal price is about 12 euro a year, or something like that. I'll be honest with you, as far as TLDs are concerned, when .tel launched, a bunch of us thought it was a really, really fascinating concept. Um, but here's the thing. Um, I can, ex I can mar sell you on a .irish domain in under 30 seconds. It's, e it's an easy sell. I mean, either you'll register or you won't. But we, but we can have that conversation in 30 seconds. With .tel, it'll take me probably five to 10 minutes to convince you of why registering a .tel is a good idea. Now, if I'm only making one euro or two euro margin, and I'll be honest, I'm not the cheapest employee of the company, um, it'll take 20 or 30 years to cover the cost of that 10 minutes. So it doesn't really work. But it's a cool idea, cool idea at a technical level, just really hard to sell. OK. Thank you very much, Mikael. Thank you. This was a nice presentation. Uh, before